Good afternoon, and today is the 20th of June, 2016. I'm already out, as you guys can probably tell. I'm not even at home. I'm at uh, B&Q's. Me and the wife have been out since this morning. Well, actually, since this afternoon, we left the house about two, 10 to 2, and we've been out all morning. There she is there. I'm just picking her up outside the bear car. We've just finished buying all the stuff that we wanted from the store. So, we're now heading home. I haven't vlogged at all today. This is the first bit of vlogging I'm doing the whole day. But... We've ordered the doors, we've got all the stuff. It looks like we're going for a full redecorate of the house. <laughs> but I've got a uh, new little gadget I'll show you guys when I get home. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> So that's what we basically got today. All the decorating stuff that we're going to need to do this job. Got a new heat gun. I thought, hey, we'll give it a try. We'll try different things. And um, my brother-in-law did this before uh, already at his house. I was, this, I was telling you guys this, I think, before. And uh, my wife called him up because obviously that's, that's, his, that's her brother. He said, get a heat gun. So we got a heat gun. Let me just crack on and bring this stuff in. So yeah, we're back home. I got them. The bulbs that I need, my lamp to work. So I've got these. Uh, I've got the LED version. Don't know how they're going to look, but it uh, makes for pretty impressive lighting. Got my heat gun. This is the most important thing we've got today, I think. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to have a go at it right now because I'm like a big kid. When I get something new, I've got to try it straight away. And if I think it's rubbish, I just take it straight away. Back to the shop. So anyway, we bought this uh, heat gun. It's from a company called Erlex. It comes with all these lovely accessories and apparently a two year guarantee. So let's have a little open of this. And top tip, whenever you open something that you're planning to not keep maybe, open it away that you can then take it back. See, oh, that sleeve just came out with that ripping. Right, get a cool little carry case it looks like. What's inside the carry case? This is what comes in the carry case. This is obviously the gun to kill people with. Oh, you just switch it on. Oh, that's good. So we've got a scraper. We've got this little thing here, which we're going to just on there. This is going like this. I think it goes this way up around. Okay. Let's give this a try. I just want to try an area which I haven't actually done before. Oh yeah, this is much easier. I'm not going to use this nozzle thing though. Oh, that is so baking hot already. Ah! Should definitely use gloves. The nozzle gets super hot, this bit here. Let's have a go at this. Wow, that is 
amazing, isn't it? And that is without any smell, anything, anything like that. It's it's amazing. Check this out. Look, I just did this complete line. And without no wetness, no nut. Man, I'm saying what? Forget the freaking paint stripper. That's crap. Thank you very much, Bill, for that because uh, that's my brother in the by the way, my wife's brother. He literally recommended for us to get the, the heat gun. He said it's so much easier, it's quicker. He wasn't lying. It's ridiculously quick. I mean, the time that I spent doing the paint remover thing, it's taken me like, how long, Sal? Like five seconds to get that off. So I'm going to crack on with the rest of this and uh, we'll check in with you guys in a little while when I've probably already done this door frame. Right. Sorry about the background noise. Wife's just cleaning up after I made the mess with the uh, machine. Epic machine. Yeah, done an awesome job at removing the paint. These are the scrappings, look. That's what it paint looks like when it comes off. Pretty sick stuff. She's just hoovering up uh, all the little bits that is there. Just like one bin. Lovely. It's gone pretty well. I mean, I started that at seven. It's now nine o'clock exactly, and uh, I've, I'll show you how much I've finished. This is what I've managed to finish today. So two hours roughly of work, obviously getting used to using the machine, because I've never used that machine ever. So we managed to turn turn it from this, this white crappy colour that I've hate, I hate now, to the gorgeous wood. Look at that. What a difference. Look, I've done the whole of that door frame. I did that in two hours, in and out as well. So now tomorrow hopefully we'll conquer this side and that side. It looks sick. I love it. I'm loving it already. So you just have this look on camera. This is nuts. All we need to do obviously is to prep it a little bit more before we can varnish it. It's just got to get sanded, washed and it'll be ready for the varnish. We've already got the varnish as well to go with it. So tomorrow, I'm hoping tomorrow I will definitely have both of these done. And then I'm going to do the stairs and then prep the whole lot in one go and then varnish the lot. Three days work. Hopefully, should be done. So anyway, I'm going to heading off to the masjid because my boss invited me to come and eat today because he's making the food for everyone to eat at the mosque. So I'm heading there now to have iftar with my work colleagues at the masjid. I don't think all of them are going to be there, to be honest, but... He invited me, so I'll go. I'm going to film it and all that jazz today, so enjoy the footage, guys. Right, just making my way down to the mosque. I'm going to definitely film this. Uh, I probably won't have the glasses on. I probably will take them off because I think people will freak out the fact that I've got glasses on inside of a building when I normally wouldn't be doing stuff like that. So the glasses will stay off.
الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاه حي على الصلاه حي على الصلاه حي على الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Anyway, so we just come out of the mosque. Another nice iftar. I took a watermelon. I love watermelon. But, time to head home. That was a small sort of demonstration of what it's like when we do iftar in the mosque. They do that every single day. And they feed loads and loads of people. So, uh, go to your mosque. Have some food. They make really good food. I'm gonna keep eating this and I'm gonna get home. Salam! So I'm back from the mosque. Another lovely iftar. And that one was made by my boss from his, uh, his restaurant. And the food was pretty good. Not gonna knock it. I might get the sack. But no, the food was good. I'm joking. The food was good. It was nice. It was real nice. I love all the little cakes that they made. Really, really delicious. Maybe I should have bought home some for the wife. Mmm. Nah, she won't mind. Go to the mosque. I'll go do the nightly prayer today, no matter what. So I'm back from the mosque. We, I've just done my nightly prayer. And uh, we're about to kick into the live stream. Right. So we finished another epic live stream with all you awesome people, and uh, sorry DMK, I, <laughs> I just had to do a video about you. So DMK got heavily trolled today on GTA 5, uh, I'm sure he'll be okay, he'll get over it, but that video is going to be absolutely hilarious, it's going to be well funny. Now it's time to get downstairs, we've got to eat our suhoor, and pray our morning prayer. And get ready to fast. And then I'll be back up here probably. I've got to edit some more videos. 